So, um, yeah, these Family Mart, just put out these, uh, you know, Family Mart, like convenience stores in Japan are amazing. Uh, obviously, I mean, you know, if you if you want to start, uh, every, everybody, anyone who watches this, knows, who knows anything about Japan, knows that, you know, knows all the basics that, uh, you know, Japan, the things that Japan has that other places don't have that ruin you. The, the idea that Japan is a technopolis of future technology, people often come here and they're like kind of disappointed and they're like, Hey, I thought that everything was here was supposed to be high tech. But what they do go away and they do miss when they leave, one is, of course, the toilets. And I cannot live anywhere without Japanese toilets now either. Seriously, it, it actually uh, it actually has ruined me for living anywhere else. The rest of the world desperately needs to catch up on the toilets. And the other thing is convenience stores. Um, of course, convenience stores play the role of the the, the gas station or the, um, you know, the, the dairy in New Zealand or Australia. But in Japan, they're just so next level. You know, the things that you can do and the things that you can get at a convenience store, you can get, you know, I mean, you can get anything. And there is one thing in Japan um, that, you know, they'll always sell. They'll sell like funeral ties. They sell underwear, which, you know, <laughs> uh, makes sense in certain circumstances. Um, you know, they sell socks. They sell like hair care and makeup stuff. Uh, pretty much. I mean. You know, you, you can uh, post something, you can post a suitcase overseas if you need to, you can pick up, like, you can pick up your Amazon or Ruxton deliveries, um, you can, you know, you can do so much stuff, and, um, yeah, the Family Mart just started to launch it among that sort of generic, hey, you need some socks in an emergency, here are some socks, they, they actually got some branded Family Mart colors um socks and everyone on twitter uh, on foreign twitter has been rage raving about how great these things are and I, I personally of course i run and you know i play basketball with the lad and so on so i've got socks that look like this and you know just hearing that these are the um you know the family mark colors and everyone just saying that they're very comfortable and with it getting cool all of a sudden in tokyo you know the season's abruptly changing it's, it's time to think about maybe getting some warm socks so you know i kind of gave into peer pressure and i bought a pair i just wore them today actually and um they, I mean, they're awesome. They're really, really comfortable. They look good. Uh, I've got a bunch of beat up old sort of tennis socks that probably need uh, to be thrown out anyway. Um, but yes, I must admit, uh, I felt a lot of peer pressure about this purchase. <laughs> I saw so many people sort of raving them and it's become like a quasi sort of, uh, you know, uh, a meme. Everybody's uh, buying them and taking photos. And I did. And I must say, while I assert that I am a free-thinking individual, um, I, I, I just happen to need to go to the convenience store. The nearest convenience store is a family mart. Um, the socks were there. I needed socks. They are good. I got them. They are wonderful. Um, so uh, check them out if you're into ten tennis socks. That's like the, the, the latest hot thing from Japan. And it's hard to explain to people outside the country just how a convenience store can, um, you know, uh, be so awesome but it's not just family mart it's like all of them are good now 7-eleven i always thought of as the best but honestly like i always had family mart close to me recently and i got kind of used to it and then when they built a 7-eleven nearby recently and so now i've got this choice i must admit i've gotten uh, lately i think family mart's upped its game i i, I think it's right up there with 7-eleven and lawson is awesome as well so yeah you know if you're if you're uh here i mean th this is the item to get anyway at the moment <laughs> so uh, that's what I've enjoyed. Um, back into the comments. Great to see it. Well, more people rocking in. It's awesome to see. Um, uh, Quinn Rankin asks, where are the socks made? Good question. Let me see. I think I've actually <laughs> still got them uh, nearby. They should actually be in the hamper and they're not. So give me a sec. Uh, yeah, do you, you want to see? Uh, they're, they're actually pretty clean. <laughs> it just says convenience wear. Uh, I only wore these for like 30 minutes, but it was to play basketball with my son. Um, doesn't say where they're made, although I, I, I would tell you there is almost no way on earth that these are not made in China. Um, I, I threw the package away. So, you know what? Possibly if I zoom in on the photo, I might be able to figure it out. In fact, you know what? I can probably... Now you've got me curious. Squirrel. Now I really want to check where these are made. Uh, if you look at the um, top bit of the screen up here, Zoom in hearts. Can I can I zoom in hearts? I think I can. Boom. There we go. China. These are China socks. But I mean everything's made in China. Um so you know, that's fine. <laughs> uh there you go. Question answered. Mystery solved, uh Quentin Rankin. Socks giveaway. Uh well at least I'll wash them first. Um <laughs> 
not a bad idea actually seriously i mean they're they're, they're pretty cool it, it'd be pretty uh if you're like um i feel for, for weebs overseas i think uh at the moment uh being the first like outside of japan to get your hands on some family mart socks would be pretty high status they'd be pretty good good giveaways wouldn't they uh, Japan must exterminate squad type toilets for real. I'll tell you what, if you are an armed force of organized crime and you are going to wage, a, you know, um, a Yakuza Jihad against squat toilets, I am with you because I cannot squat. Uh, and I've been in places where I've had to use them. I've, I've actually got a YouTube video about my first real experience about needing to use one of those sort of toilets and it was pretty pretty explosive uh so yeah yeah I'm, I'm actually with the armed forces of organized crime uh, on on the topic of uh, squat toilets thank you <laughs> guys english world wait a minute they have matching headbands seriously i think i tempted because i i run and it's like i have a, I, yeah keeping the sweat off my eyes is a problem i tell you what i actually do wear like um armbands like 1980s sort of tennis things you can actually get ones uh online which you can put like your house keys and stuff into which i find useful for running like not having to stick it like in, in my shoes or anything like that so um yeah i tell you what a family might like wanted to get some matching uh sweat like armbands i, I i'd be into that yeah the the, the hand the, the headband as well lawson is awesome i rock 299 uh big fan of the uh chicken that they have the the, the spicy uh red chicken that they have is pretty good um